So you just bring some love to your backend, basically using Livewire and of course Laravel. And everything is working perfectly once the user clicks on get in. And basically we create a subscriber into our database. And immediately we send a confirmation email and <laughs> we fix that problem with the confirmation URL. So we have everything in the backend, but the user doesn't realize anything of that because we are not bringing any kind of interaction. We are not giving any success message, any, let's say, load message or something like that. So that is exactly what we are going to resolve right now. And in the way, we are going to see how we can communicate Livewire with Alpine to achieve our goal. So if we go to our browser, once again, in our project, of course, we have, let's say, an interesting problem because the components that decide when to show the model is Alpine, but the component that knows when the user was successfully subscribed and we should show that success message is Livewire. So basically we need to communicate one and the other. So once I click on subscribe and issue the correct email and so on, we should be, let's say, modifying Livewire in a way that says to Alpine to show the success model and to hide the form of the subscription model. So how can we do it? Well, currently it is not possible based on what we know, but of course there is a way. So let's go to our view, of course, in the view of our component and resources, views, live wire, and this of course the landing page. So here is the trick because the value of show subscribe and eventually show success should come directly from Livewire. At some point, Livewire is the one that is going to say, hey, please show the subscribe form or hide it, preferably, or please show the success model or hide it, depending on the scenario. Basically, Livewire knows when the process of subscription was successful and we should change this to true. But once again, there are, of course, probably different ways to achieve this, but as Livewire and Alpine are best friends, we have a pretty interesting directive from Alpine to achieve that. So basically, we can use a directive called Entangle, and Entangle is going to receive the name of the attribute in the Livewire component, most sure, a public attribute that can't direct or specify the value of this specific element. So to be consistent, we can use a show subscribe and basically the same here. So we use show success, there is it. And let's see what we got because currently we don't have those attributes in our live wire component. So if we go back here and refresh, yeah, there is it. By default, they are, let's say, getting true, even when we don't have them defined. Normally, this should show an error. You can check that in your console based related with this because Livewire is trying to get a JSON from this. And of course, it is doesn't working because that values are not defined. So we can solve that even when the error is not very clear, specifying those attributes with the corresponding values directly into our component of Livewire. So let's go to app, HTTP, Livewire, and there is of course the landing page one. So after the email, we are going to add two new attributes. Of course, both of them need to be public. So the first one is show, subscribe, and by default, let's say it is equals to false. And basically the same for show success both of them in false. So once we have those attributes with the corresponding default value, we can go back here and refresh. Remember, currently they are visible. So as we change that to false and we can trust that using Entangle, we have a communication between those specific words, those specific components, we are going to well hide those by default once again so let's still refresh and there you have in fact if you check the source code you can see how in the x data we have 
show subscribe equals to this specific value and show success equals to D. Once again, Alpine is taking care of all the process behind the scenes for you. Basically, using Windows Livewire, we are getting values directly from the Livewire component. Remember, Livewire and Alpine are best friends. One can work perfectly and communicate with the other without any kind of issue. So once it is working, once again, if we want to check, let's say that show subscribe is true while the other is false or the opposite. This is true and this other one is false, is going to work. We are going to show by default the success message while the form is hidden. That's great. Now let's do use this information in our benefit. So by default, both of them are false. As you can see here, once again, both of them are going to be hidden by default. And we are going to be sure to show them correspondingly or high one and the other when the moment comes. So once a user is subscribed and we are sure that we sent the notification, we can, well, reset the email field, which is great. And after that, we are going to hide the subscription form and to show the success message. So we say show subscribe is going to be equals to false. But in the other hand, we have show success equals to true. So if we go back here, remember, by default, both of them are false. So we cannot see any one of them. But once I click on subscribe, now show subscribe is true. Then we can use any email. Let's say, for example, test nine. We click on get in. And if everything is OK, we are going to hide the original form and show the success message. Congratulations. At this point, you are communicating Livewire and Alpine to make much more dynamic and fluent the user experience. But now we need to complete the user experience with one additional step, and it is how to show a success message once the user confirms the email address. We are going to see how to do that in the following class. For now, we discovered how to use Entangle to communicate and let's say synchronize two attributes which are both in Livewire and in Alpine to keep those specific attributes working together. Remember, once again, Livewire and Alpine are best friends and they communicate pretty good. We have plenty of flexibility and functionalities to make a perfect communication and synchronization as we saw between those specific components. See you in the following class.